Good morning. Welcome to Crochet with Nana Rosanna. I'm Rosanna. Hope everybody's doing well. I hope you had a great week. I'd like to welcome you to Whip Weekend and finished items number 43. This morning is a chilly one in southern Ontario. It's about uh, minus 19 degrees right now, which is about zero Fahrenheit. So very chilly and it's supposed to be like this all weekend. But yet, uh, next week, it's supposed to be above freezing. So it's the world has gone crazy. The uh, weather is going crazy. And I am so sorry for all the uh, people in the U.S. that had that ice storm. I've been watching some of the American news, and it is so sad. So hope everybody's staying safe, staying inside, staying warm if it's uh, cold outside. And uh, for people in Australia where it's very, very hot, I hope you're staying cool. I um, just woke up a little bit ago and um, had my first coffee and um, haven't gotten much sleep this week. Our new kitty cat likes to meow all night and has been keeping us up. So we tried to keep her awake all last evening and we did. My husband bought one of those um, little uh, light beams and uh, she was chasing it all over the family room and... Uh, but she's still mewed all night. I think she's afraid of the dark, so we've left some lights on. That's not helping. And um, she's going crazy at night. But uh, we are loving having our new kitty cat. And she's actually playing with some stuff. I come downstairs and I have my diamond painting and um, I paint by numbers on my dining room table. And she has decided that she likes the little, uh, whoops, the little packets of the diamond painting know if you can see that or not yeah so I have vacuumed three times this week because she is even if I hide them she is finding these so I'm gonna have to find a container with a lid on them and um, I have these little diamonds all over my house again this morning she brings them upstairs and leaves them by the uh, bed side for little presents I guess so they're all over the place but I've collected most of them up because one of them I'm working on right now. So we can start with that, my diamond painting. I am still working on the uh, flower and I'm about three quarters of the way done. So that's my diamond. So basically I'm here, done a little bit up here and it comes down to there. So it's coming along really nicely. And I love the way it sparkles. And this is a rather large one, so it's taking me longer than usual. But um, I'm really liking this one. It's very pretty. And um, like I said, I get all my diamond paintings on Amazon. Uh, I know there's a few places that um, you can order from, and I'm going to look into that. Maybe order a whole bunch at a time. That way I can save on the shipping costs. So that was my very first whip. And I might as well just show you. I am also working on a... I'm going to grab the picture on a paint by number and um, this is it here this isn't the one I this is just my demonstration and um, I believe it's a picture of Venice so that's what it's supposed to look like and I've done quite a bit on it I really like the colors so that's what I'm working on now you really can't tell what it is but slowly it's coming together so those are the two items that uh, my crafts that I do in the morning. I've started a little bit of cross stitching and I do that in the morning too, but I didn't do any this week. And I did no knitting this week. Like I said, the last time right here was hurting. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a week and then I'll probably start knitting again next week. So those are my two items that are not yarny related. The first item that I've been working on, my first whip, is a shawl. And I've been following uh, Jackie at Crochet ADHD, and she's got a shawl, la 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 la, la uh, going on. And um, what she's done is she's picked some uh, patterns from Ravelry that have less than 40 makes on it. I'm not sure. I don't use Ravelry that much, but I'm going to start because it looks pretty interesting. So she picked out a few uh, shawls that um, need some loving. And um, I've picked one to do, and it is called the Wren Sideways Shawl. And it's using worsted weight. And I decided to use, I'm going to need my glasses for this one. I'm using shawl and ball. The color is opal. 
It recommends a uh, six millimeter hook, but I've been using a five and a half. Five and a half is my favorite hook. And um, that's the color there. That's the color there. <laughs> um, it has 481 yards and um, very, very thin for a, a number four. But um, I thought it'd be great for a shawl for around Christmas time with just a black little dress or something. So I've only gotten that far done. And it's about 18 to 20 inches wide. It's got a really good stretch on it. So I will have to block it because it can really block out nicely. And um, it's coming along. It's a, a four row repeat. Uh, very easy to do. And um, free pattern on Ravelry. You can get it from her web page. And I will link the web page and the shell pattern below if you want to do it. So I really like the way it's coming out in this. So that's my first whip that I'm working on. I have not touched any knitting, so the hats haven't got done. And the other shawl I'm working on, I haven't, uh, get these off, I haven't finished either. But I'm hoping to finish the hat that I've been knitting for my son-in-law before I see him probably next week. And my second item I'm working on, I've been following Heather the Crochet, which for since I started uh, crocheting and she's doing a movie marquee along with Bella and someone else and I'm not sure who that other person is but uh, this week it was Bella's turn to pick and the movie she picked was so I've written it down somewhere I think no I haven't I believe it's Goonies I'll put the poster up here it's got a multitude of colors in there so I'll show you the colors I'll leave this poster up so you can see um, I'm using Red Heart, which is, a, they're all four worsted weights, so I'm using Red Heart and Erin. And, um, Super Saver Red Heart in Mint. Red Heart in Light Periwinkle. And, um... I've got a lot of Red Heart lately because on Amazon they were doing packs of three for, I think, $13.99. And that's about the cheapest I can get it in Canada. So I've been grabbing a whole bunch of Red Heart as I can do it. And these are all going to be for my wheelchair lapkins. The next color I'm using is coffee. It's a nice brown. Not as dark as what it's showing. And the next color I'm using is... I can't see this one at all. It's called Cherry. And it's uh, an old skein of um, a one pounder. So that's the color there. Probably going to have to put the poster up here, I think. And I am using Red Heart once again. And this is uh, Light Jasmine. It's color about there. And then um, this is from my Tangled Yarn. It's just yellow. It feels exactly like the rest of the Red Hearts, so I'm sure it's a Red Heart. But all these piled up in front of me. And um, I'm doing just a rectangle granny square, and I love the way the colors are coming out. It looks nothing like the poster, but it, the colors are fabulous. So I've gotten this far on the um, wheelchair lapkin. And um, how I do this center part I like starting off with a row of single crochets so I uh crocheted 26 uh sorry I uh chain 26 then I um crochet into one side do my corners and then crochet down the other side so it starts off and it's not too holy when you start off I'll to bring it in nice and close for you so I I love the way that starts off so what I'm doing is I'm just using those colors and doing a repeat. So I'm now working on my third repeat. I think the colors are fabulous together. So it's just a, a lap again that I'm doing. And I'm very, very pleased with uh, how this is turning out. I think the colors look great together. And, you know, when you see the movie poster, you don't think of it. When you put the colors together, they really do match. I try and match colors as best I can with the yarn that I have. I'm uh, 
shop, shopping my stash. I know there's a whole bunch of hashtags out there, but I'm not sure how to do hashtags, so I don't do it. But I am uh, trying to use all my yarns that I have. I do order and I do buy more yarn and um makes me happy to buy yarn. So I uh, will um, keep on buying, but I'm, I'm going to try and cut back because I can't fit all the yarn that I have on my shelves. I have a bookcase and um, then I have a half size bookcase full of yarn and I bought some of those mesh squares from sorry I'm just looking at my kitty cat she uh, knocked down a uh, paintbrush and she's playing with that on the floor here so and then I have the mesh um, squares that I got from Amazon one of those so they are totally full and I have a uh, queen size bed in that bedroom and the whole bed is covered in yarn. So I'm going to have to get up and clean it. I know I've promised you that um, I'm going to uh, show you, give you a tour of my yarn room as my husband calls it, but um, not ready for that yet. So I've been staying in. It's been cold. I did go bowling this week and had a great time with the girls. Just moving my yarns out of the way. And I just have a chair on either side of me that I put things while I'm filming. I just move the dining room table around. So that's it for my whips right now. I um, I know there's a um, luck of the draw blanket going on and I may pick that up. And I will mention that and link it below in my next video. And uh, basically every week um, a number is picked. You number your yarns from one to seven and she picks the number and you have... Uh, do I believe three rows of that number and then a base color so I think I'm gonna join in on that because it's only uh, three rows a week so I can I can squeeze that one in and that's it that I'm following for um, um, crochet alongs the uh, the shawl fa la 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 crochet sha la 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 crochet along is um, till the middle of March. So I've got lots of time to finish that shawl so I can pick up another uh, project to do in the meantime. So like I said, I um, have been working hard and now for my finished art items. My first item I made for the baby and I just made him a little heart with a happy face on it. Oh, I've got some fluff on there. And um, I did not use safety eyes because uh, he's a baby and I didn't want um, him, his mom to worry about the eyes. So I just crocheted the eyes in, crocheted the mouth in. And instead of using stuffing, I just stuffed in some extra yarn in here. He's not too thick uh, because I was worried about, because he puts everything in his mouth still. And I was worried about all the fluff from the stuffing going in his mouth. So I just stuffed it with a little bit of yarn. So that's what he's getting. And then for Keegan, um, which I found out um, watches my uh, Keegan is seven uh, and he's our grandson and um, he does watch my videos. He thinks I'm so cool because I'm on YouTube. So I think that's lovely. And um, so he knows that he's getting something. And um, uh, my husband went over there last week and um, it was on on the channel. And he goes, oh, my God, Rosie. Use my name. That's that's what he calls me. He calls me Rosie. That's what my husband calls me, short for Rosanna. <laughs> and um, he goes, she said my name on YouTube. I'm all over YouTube. And I don't think he realizes how small a channel I am, but I'm his hero because I'm on YouTube. And his aspiration is to be a YouTube uh, influencer when he gets older. So it's so funny. When my kids were younger, they wanted to be firemen and policemen. And now kids this age want to be YouTube celebrities. So um, this is what I made for him. And I'm not sure if I uh, showed last week uh, the other gnome I made for Paige, but I'll insert a picture of the other gnome here. But um, they were from my gnome book, and um, they are just so cute. I did not um, whisk out the beard because, you know, seven, he's still going to play with it. So I uh, just left it. I just unraveled. I'm just if you can see that. I don't think it's going to focus in. Oh, there you go. So I just unraveled the yarn for him. And I love the hat with the heart on it. So that's what the two older kids got are getting. Um, Paige was here last weekend. We had a wonderful time. I was exhausted. And um, we're going to uh, get these to them next week on Monday, I believe. So those are what I made the two little boys. 
And those are my only two finished items this week. I did start quite a few and I'll be starting another one. And I love having more than two projects on the go at the same time. Sometimes I get bored with one, so I'll switch to the other, get bored, switch back. Not bored, just, you know, I like to have several objects objects on the go. And I did promise my daughter a uh, sweater, like the one I made myself. So I will be starting that probably this week. And that'll just be a longer project. And um, she'll probably go, Mom, where is it? Where is it? And might speed me up. But uh, I'm not planning on uh, powering through making another sweater because she wants the same stitch. And I just got bored with the stitch. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. I know several people let me know. It's where you crochet, double crochet in one, and then uh, single crochet in the next. Um, and that's not coming to mind. So that's it for my uh, finished items this week. I will show you right here, if you haven't been watching my book along, I did finish my January uh, uh, book cover blanket. And here's a picture of it here. And I'm so pleased with it. And over here, I'll put the picture of it on the couch. I'm very happy with it. So I did get that done. So I did get a lot of crocheting done this week. It's just that um, I had already shown this blanket in um, my book cover blanket video. And I will be putting out a February uh, book cover video sometime in the middle of the week. And I've um, made up a few different... Um, squares just to see what which one I'd like and I think I've come up with one of them and that will um, use most of the colors. The first one I did would didn't I didn't think would be appropriate but um, I'll show them to you in my next video. So that's it for now. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope you get your whips done and please stay warm and enjoy the uh, your family and your friends. So I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.